Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for a Mondo Mystery Tackle box. Oh shoot. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not unboxing one, but two mystery tackle boxes, and I got a Black Friday special, the Mondo Dangler kit. So today is a special one where I'm doing three boxes at once. Grand cost of this, the grand total, I think would be about $47, $18.05 or so to get both the November and December mystery tackle box. And the Mondo Dangler kit was $11 on a Black Friday special with no shipping cost because I'm a member. So, November box, here we go. Yes, I've already opened them all, so there's no surprises for me, so we're going to rip right through these things. All right. Right off the bat, I got my list on the card. And the first thing in here is the IMA. I don't know if it's pronounced IMA or if it's the EMA, but this is the FLIT. The FLIT. I have one of these that came in a box about a year and a half ago. The other one is brown with a gold side and kind of a goldish white belly. And it's great. This one's got kind of a perch looking fish scale pattern to it. Uh, last one I had to stop using. I was up in Minnesota and we were catching a lot of fish constantly. And frankly, the treble hooks in this were so sharp <clears throat> that it was just a pain in the neck to cast the catch and dig the treble hooks out all the time. And I just said, forget it gotta put that thing away it's too hot so this is a fish catcher that comes in at $9.99 I don't know if I would pay $9.99 in a store but it's wonderful Z-Man cross eye Z cross eyes this is the uh, peanut butter and jelly PB&J power finesse jig power and finesse that's two things that seem kind of funny together but I love the peanut butter and jelly color and I love that mustard head I think it's gonna be great next thing is Cabin Creek Cabin Creek these are the Express Crawl I don't believe they had any scent to them they're kind of a mini so any smaller jigs will be great trailers on almost maybe too small for a true Texas rig Definitely flares out on the outside, thinner in the middle. Got a little body. Be great on a on a, the back of a, any jig. They don't really have a smell to them. That's the Cabin Creek catching fish since 1984. The Cabin Creek Bait Company. And those were the Express Crawls. The next thing is the Big Bite Baits Swim and Crawl. So I'm guessing both these baits could be used. Um trailers on jigs. This one I'm sure could be Texas rigged or used on a Tokyo, maybe a, maybe not a Ned, but maybe a, oh, I don't know. Definitely on the back of a jig, but big body, nice and thick, probably twice the size of the cabin baits. And these do have a smell. I got a lot of big bite baits from Mystery Tackle Box, and they've been pretty good, all of them. Uh, the cabins were 374, big bites heavy, 349, and Harmony. I'm gonna guess these are three aught, and these are extra wide gap Razor Series hooks. These are 199. Got Harmony bait hooks before. And I've been very, very happy with them. That's a nice big body, extra wide gap. Got a little bit of a Z pattern there on the head. Well, uh, it's a good sturdy wire hook. It's uh, not thin, not gonna bend. Nice big eye on it. Very happy with that. And then of course this came with not one, but two 
catch co fishing team stickers so those are cool so that was mr tackle box number one i really liked it got two trailers got hooks got a jig got a bait the ima I really like that so that was the november mystery tackle box pretty happy with that one here comes the december tackle box this is a good one too. I'm pretty happy with this. Right off the bat at $6.99 is the 1-3 Fishing Gordito. This is the number two day old guac. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it kind of has a look of what guacamole would look if it sat out for a day. Nice hooks, good rattle, 3D eyes. I think that's a quality bait. I don't know that I paid $6.99 for it, but we will see. Next up, oh, this always makes me happy. This is the Guggenbait Zinger. This is a the white 3 8 ounce. Got a number two willow and or number four willow and number two Colorado blade. I used these for my two weeks in Minnesota last year, and uh, <coughs> caught the majority of my pike and. Quite a few bass on these. These are good baits. The Zinger comes in at $6.49. Really excited about this. This is from Weston. Weston. And these are the stick worms. They're packaged very well. Uh, black and blue. It has a nice pattern to it. They have quite a smell. Ooh, I think I read it somewhere. It is uh, worm scent. That's the smell I smell. And if you can see through the packaging, it's kind of shiny. I see that, but um, you can see that it has different body styles. It's thick. It's thin. It's got places to hook. I think it's going to be a great wacky rig bait. Uh, next up, we have Carl's Amazing Baits Kicker Crawl. So tonight has definitely got a theme of crawl trails. It's the third package, two in November, one in December. This one, maybe a little bit of scent. It's kind of a happy medium between the other two. Different colors, all of them. This has got uh, some phalanges, some tentacles on the body. Uh, all three of them had crawl trails that are thick on the outside and thin in the inside so they're good I like that we got a lot of variety for those since we got four three packs of them tonight so uh, last but not least the Guggen Squad heavy hammer hooks uh, got two packs of them I don't know why I got two uh, both packs came with one three and one four uh, had the extra wide gap in the other box which is what I like most of the time. My buddy and sometimes partner, 217 Bassin, loves the offset hook, and that's what these are. I like the shape of that. It's got a nice size to it. I can like how the hook, head, the eye, the bend, I think. I've used these before. They've come in other boxes. Everything from the heavy hammer hooks from the Guggens is good. I really like them. And I have a little lake map with all my instructions on where to use my zinger. 12 to 20 pound fluorocarbon, medium to medium heavy rod. Yep. <laughs> and all the places you'd think. Matted grass, weed lines, timber, points, bridges, docks, stumps, riprap. And finally, the last thing in here is one more catch co got a bass with a hook in his mouth and he's mad so that's two down so 18 that's about 36 dollars worth of stuff i guarantee if i went to a store this stuff would cost me a lot more than 36 bucks so finally and this one's no surprise when you get a mondo kit you know exactly what you're getting because it tells you what you're getting so this was more of a I just knew it was a good deal at 11 bucks because some of these baits are in at seven bucks and if you get 
three or four things in here, you're going to get a good deal. So, I have the many banger from the Guggen Squad. This is a ghost gill. Ghost gill. So it kind of is translucent. Kind of looks like a bluegill. It is... <coughs> Three eighths ounce and it's gonna run quarter ounce and it's gonna run one to four feet deep it's two inches long nice set of hooks uh, I'd pay maybe two 250 for that so I'm sure I'm gonna get a deal three three aught hammer hooks this is a three pack so uh, more hooks to go with my hooks Last year I really got into jig fishing quite a bit more, more than I ever have in this package. I got a quarter ounce little juicy finesse jig. My other one was a power finesse jig. This one is a finesse jig. This is black and blue and can probably use a whole bunch of those trailers I got with it. And finally, the sexy shad zinger. So. I know this is $6.99. I got a jig, a pack of hooks, a sticker, a crankbait for eleven bucks. Altogether I spent forty-seven bucks. Uh, number of hooks, number of trails, lots of jigs, lots of spinner baits, crankbaits. I'm pretty happy with this. So <coughs> I'm gonna wrap all that up thinking most of the stuff's probably going to go in a box and wait till spring comes. It's getting really cold here in central Illinois. But uh, I'm kind of getting excited. Deer season's winding down. Shout out to Ryan Bennett for shooting an eight point buck out of one of my stands last night. Good for him. And uh, it's time to wrap this up with a Sangamon out.